Welcome to the episode of Pick and Pop, where we talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. It's your boy MJ. Today we got Christine in the house. Ew. And we got Tess in the house. <laughs> Woo! Lego. Everyone knows Chris Brown for all of his crazy antics, but this time he's going to do a yard sale at his own house, and he even supplied his actual address on social media. I don't know if you read this, but back in 2015, <laughs> apparently some armed intruders broke into his house oh and put his auntie in the closet and then ransacked it. Wait, what? I did not know about So don't you think it's a bad idea to keep putting your address out there over and over and over again? from overnight camping out in front of his home. But I said when we first start out with this one, they're showing like the license plate of someone's vehicle. Yeah. Ooh. Like, like they, they didn't even blur it out. I mean, I, mean, I mean, so so Mr. HJ7 D656, I got you. I know where you live now. I just don't understand. Like, do these people not have jobs? Like, Thank this you. Is posted yes. last minute, right? They have yes. jobs. This is Chris Brown merchandise. So they just drop everything and go yes. like, last minute. Man, I, no, that's I, crazy. No, Tess, I agree. Because there's some people who like drove from Sacramento overnight. <laughs> they like brought chairs, blankets, <laughs> dinner. Like, what? They yeah. are, they're they close up on the license plate. Now I really see the letter. And whose whose car that is? Dude with the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yo, I don't want to get seen. Yo, no, no, oh, no, yo, no, 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 you want? Exactly. <laughs> That's why he did that. He's like, oh no, 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 no. I, I told my boss I was sick. But let me talk to fans here. The first in line who came out here yesterday at eleven o'clock last night. So, so when the post there. dropped, that's when he came immediately. Like, what kind of life do you have to just be like, all right? That second, I'm just gonna drop everything and go. Like, do you not have anything to do? First of all, how cold was it? <laughs> it was very cold last night, but it started getting way too cold about four in the morning. You think? You wow. think? Wow, okay. Were you surprised? Was that a shock? Huh? Yeah. What's this commentary? <laughs> Maybe he's a Chris Brown super fan. You oh, know? no, no, no. Oh, you're gonna find out exactly oh. why he's there. Definitely going after jackets, sweaters, and shoes. That probably has the most resale value. So everything is a business decision for this guy, right? You're gonna resell, resell? Securing the bag, securing yeah, the bag. Yeah, That's yeah. what we're in for. Yeah, all right, so you hope it's worth it, right? All right. <laughs> oh yeah, so you hope it's worth it, right? <laughs> Hopefully I'm in job. Hopefully find what you're throw, looking for. Throwing that shade, <laughs> like get a real job, get a job, period. For you, uh, how was your night camping out here? What are you hoping to get? Uh, same as him. He's actually my brother, so we're in the same mindset. Oh, that's his brother. That's a family business. A yes. family. See? Just like <laughs> Subscribe to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan Presents. Presents. Now, we all remember this guy from the Nats celebration after they won the World Series. I mean, that, uh, that hurt. But. Yeah. yeah, it probably did. He's probably bleeding when he stands up. <laughs> it's probably pretty bloody. This is the best um, thing I've ever seen. But it was probably worth it. And I love, like, he's trying to do the worm at the end, but he realized he has no velocity. Oh, is he? Oh, <laughs> chef. He's, he's, like, <laughs> he's like scooching. Yeah. He's, he's a squeegee boy. He's like, yeah. nah, homie. He got kind of far, though. I was, I was a little surprised. <laughs> well, with all that, you know, extra you know, space, I'm sure you can kind of like. You know, Newton's law, you know? <laughs> <laughs> So now he's turned his 15 minutes of fame into an actual newscast telling the weather. So I'm you wondering if me. maybe we could do a... <laughs> Yo, <I> <laughs> he's, like, he's really good at that. <laughs> that rip off was priceless. I feel like that, they put that sound in. Like that wasn't real. <laughs> what is the weatherman saying like, oh, I find any opportunity to take my shirt off. Like that's not appropriate. He probably Today. does this too, a lot. He probably does this. He probably rips off his shirt too. Like this Wait, is the what? thing. What? This is probably a fad. Do you see that look in his eye, though? Oh. Which one? In his eye? Oh, oh Lord. In both of their eyes. <laughs> My the God. The weatherman's like... Yeah, baby, let's go. Really <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> chest bump here, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> yo, 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 hold on. You can tell oh when God. homies start walking towards him. The uh -huh. newscast like, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> well, that's a lot coming at me. Let me make sure I'm bracing and ready for this. Hold on, hold on. Hey, dude, dude has already met him halfway. Wow. And he's like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey. Go Nats! Let's go, let's go Nats. All right, somebody else take it away. Chase, that was beautiful, man. <laughs> And he's the black like, people are like, what? Oh. <laughs> well, he was like, that really hurt. The newscaster yeah, was probably like, like uh, 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 my heart. Oh. <laughs> you win. You got Come on back. Just do it one more time. <laughs> Shout out my boys. Shout out my oh, boys. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, no, <laughs> but you're right. The newscaster. Who, 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 who your boys? <laughs> who, who your boys, bro? You're so low dolo. Like, like no one's claiming you after this. No one's claiming you. If he doesn't have a heart attack, okay? That, that hurt. 
that hurt. Dude. Okay, that really did hurt. Yo. You could tell. I don't know why he did it a second time. But I love the brothers and sisters' reaction. I'm speaking out of turn. I'm sorry. Oh, it is our turn. That was epic. Come on, Wiz. That was epic. All right. All right. All right. It's like if you say so, that was epic. It, yeah, his, his mouth. His mouth is on the floor. Like he <laughs> cannot believe what he just. He's witnessed. like, why? Why? Yeah, I, I've never to, like, seen anything like that. Him. But uh, we got to keep rolling with the news. So now, if you think that was something, how about the meteorologist who dressed like a unicorn for his telecast for Halloween? Check it out. Okay, I, I just want to know, like, if your stuff is all out like that, like, how is that okay? Like, there are children watching. Hopefully this is the daytime. The kids are at school. I love <laughs> are you okay? Bruh, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> you You the one dressing up like a unicorn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's Halloween, though. <laughs> Short. What is, what, what are you wearing, Witzel? Witzel? Witzel, is that his name? Witzel? <laughs> hey. That was a great hey. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I understand why he's wearing a, a uniform <laughs> costume now. Witzel. Mm -hmm. Did you drive Deerfoot in that? No, I just got it. Okay, all right. No. Uh, yesterday I drove Deerfoot cuddling my pumpkin in the armrest, and there were people looking at me like, okay, weirdo. Because you are a weirdo. Yeah, yeah it's starting to sting, and you can see, like, as it goes on, he's like, why did I do, do this? This. <laughs> this was a mistake. So for those of you who watched the USC Oregon game, you might have seen something you haven't seen before on the sidelines. Check it out. I'm sorry. I just love how like, do, 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 like yep. I, I, the girls are definitely like, uh, what's going on here? Yeah. Uh, what's this contraption? This is this is genius. I, I really like this. Like I played football at USC and okay. I actually had, and I'm not going to put him on blast and put his name out there. Oh, okay. But uh, he played in the NFL, had a long, <laughs> long career and he used to just urinate on himself. Yeah. In the middle of the game. Wow. Yeah. Just like, he's like, oh, I'll just urinate, put some water on it. And I'm good to go. But you're tackling Ooh. people. So that's kind of... And does it smell? Does it not smell bad? So you're other, tackling people covered in pee? Do the other players not smell that too? I mean, everybody's sweating, I guess. So Ew, it's all, it's it's all bad funky. anyway. And then some people might think that things like this aren't really necessary, but we just want to show you a few examples of why it would be. So here's a kicker for the Chargers trying to relieve himself on the sidelines. Now you think about uh, Novak and what his range is. I just love how he's like, we think about Novak and what his range is as he's urinating. Like, like, like he's literally doing that down there. He's like, I, you know, I'm like, I'm like, are you like, does he see what we're all seeing? Like, do you not know what's going on right now? I don't yeah. think they knew. I think they were just trying to get on Novak yeah. and then they realized Novak was taking care of what he needed to do. Well, Novak did hit. 53 yarder early. But when you're a part of that team, you see like everything. That oh, yeah. Room, oh, yeah. Kids, oh, yeah. Yeah. You I mean, all real close. Like. Yeah. I mean, because I remember like playing football in college and then I was like, oh, we, oh, we got to take showers like and everyone's just and butt it, naked. Yeah. Oh, oh, and everyone just like, what's wrong, bro? And I'm like, <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, I mean, I've damn. I've never and, and seen I, this many. Uh, like, like jail. It's just like penises everywhere. Just like, all right. Oh, like. golly. Bottom line, everyone knows <laughs> what everyone's packing. Does it ever yeah. does it ever get around to the girls then? So then they know it does. who's packing with it does. what, and it then does. they know not to it does. not it does. who to. Yes. Okay. It, mm. it does, and and I would love to go into more detail regarding that, but I just don't know if it's <laughs> that kind of show. It's really interesting to us. You got two <laughs> I, ladies sitting up here. I, I know people where you know women have walked up like, oh, so I heard you yep. you packing this. Oh. Okay. And As like, an oh, advantage. I, I would like to yeah. know what's going on with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Woo. Sounds like something I'd, I'd be talking to somebody about. <laughs> or, or, or other people walking down, like, from a party, and then a girl's, like, hand in hand. Like, no, don't do it. You know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. Wait, that's so mean. Yep. Oh, no, no. But they meant the other way. Like, packing so oh. much heat, you might get hurt. Dude. Oh, I would never get hurt. <laughs> I, I would never get hurt. Oh, what school shit. did you go to? I, I, nobody told heat. me anything. I had to discover everything packing in my life. Heat. But um, that would have been nice if I had people telling me, yo, yes, no. And then, and then, no, that <laughs> warning would be nice because I don't know. <laughs> no warnings. There's no like warnings here. 
I don't know how we got here. <laughs> it's getting hot. Room, it's like hot. As- and uh, actually, with this guy, you're not going to have to have an imagination because he tried to urinate in a Gatorade cup on the sideline. This band catches you, which they did. They're going to take pictures of the crime and blast said pictures on social media, which they did. See now. Hey, see. They oh, they, it out. nobody covered him with a towel. <laughs> you can see his. Oh, a, no, he is the hey, coach. So, so now you got a hint. So now you know what you're working with, Tess. Wow. <laughs> Now you so, know, Tess. He, he couldn't have even just. Well, that blur is pretty small. So. <laughs> yeah. So now you know. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's important to know. It's very no, important to know. I mean, it could just be the tip. Oh God. <laughs> I mean, this. And now it's time for the viral victory of the week. The viral victory of the week goes to Kids Bob Karen. So apparently, this lady had a road rage incident with a rideshare driver, and this is how it went. You're cute too. Okay. What? That she, is you know what? so creepy. You're, she might be in LA, and that's how I act when I'm in traffic. So. Oh, I think this is definitely LA. <laughs> it's my, it's my it phone. is your fault. Yeah, I know it's my fault. That's why I'm, I'm saying. Why, why, why? Yeah. Mm-hmm. LA that will do is... that to you. LA traffic will do that to you. I probably make those faces in my car. Oh, she's on something. Like, you can't. <laughs> That's not normal. She thinks it's cute that her driver almost hit my kids. My kids. <laughs> Why is she talking like that? Because <laughs> she lives in LA. All my kids. <laughs> and she thinks she needs to take a video of it. Yeah, because you might do something crazy. That's why she's taking a video of it. Stopping in the middle of the road is going to help? You being a bitch is going to help? I didn't say anything. I don't know. Calm down. Calm down. No, and you know what? It, that didn't upset me. But the bitch ass hoe Sorry. that told me to calm down. Man, she's talking hella like gangster. That the bitch ass hoe. That didn't upset me, but yeah. yeah, it did because you got out of your car to address the driver. My kids can't hear me calling you a bitch. Your window's open. They can't hear me because they're listening to Kids Bop. Kids Bop. Shout out to Kids Bop. Can, do you understand how much marketing <laughs> Kids Bop just got? I forgot about that's Kids like Bop. Th- that's like thousands of dollars of free <laughs> marketing right there. I, I didn't really know what Kids Bop was. I'm not going to lie. Either. Oh my God. I, well, yeah, I well, listened got, like, to Kids Bop as stuff, a kid. Right? Yeah. Well, no, oh. I, lis- I listened Ooh. to it myself oh. when, I was, <laughs> when I was a kid. I love how, I love how oh, t- yeah, t- yo, she, she was trying to give you an out. Like, oh, because you got nieces, right? You're, you're, yeah, you're not crazy. You're not a you weirdo. Know, I am crazy like this woman in this LA traffic. I feel for this woman. Thanks for watching another episode of Pick and Pop. Make sure to share, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Till next time. Woo! Bye. Oh, okay, I didn't know if I was supposed to say anything. I was just listening. <laughs>